it's time to take a look at the Light Pure Vanilla Cookie. If you guys are not familiar with what this unit does, a lot of people are comparing her to the Dark Hell Lady. I think that if you don't know, also if you don't know what the Dark Hell Lady does, she's similar to like a mix between Ganymede and McCain the Water Undyne, which now that I think about it, most people are probably not going to know what that one does either. So here's the recap of what this unit does. First skill is a heal of the ally with the lowest HP. Second one is a shield and a heal. The third one, this is a lot of text. So what it does is it resets the cooldown on an ally, similar to what Ganymede does, and then it also gives endure and immunity to that ally. If the ally is already dead, it's going to revive and then do the exact same thing, but also revive and two extra turns on the cooldown time of that. It also has a leader skill over here. It is not a passive revive like something like Nana or Vanessa, which would be more valuable, but it does still do, even if it doesn't need to be revived, it does still do cooldown reset, which is a pretty strong skill. So let's see what it does in action. Water Striker first pick and to double wit, that is too early to pick that Diana, in my opinion. We, uh, it, we got punished by picking two fire units into there, but I wouldn't ever pick just double of a sim. They're C3. I mean, they know what they're doing, but I wouldn't... Uh... And also, you can tell that with those two picks that the Water Striker is not getting banned. So, decrease the cooldowns on the Water Striker to absorb the attack age some more. Additional turn. Vanilla Orchid Staff. Diana really can't do too... They're going to go for the... Uh... No, they don't go for that. I thought they were going to start going for the Lich. Because Lich was going to be very, very dangerous. Okay, so opponent gets a comeback. Defense break is that down. It's not down. And doesn't get the stuns. He is almost dead. He is officially dead. So this is this is gonna be rough. Although they can still bring him back from the dead. They can still do it. Light of truth, there he is. And they're not gonna strip. So they have to strip with either Mo Long or Barbara. And he's back up to half HP. This is actually a really good. Uh, it's a really good spotlight of Antares. It's a really good spotlight of the light pure vanilla cookie because it actually was effective bringing him back from the dead with that uh, with that endure because they couldn't they couldn't take him out after that. So that does show this is actually do, doing very well right now. Very very nice. I'm liking this girl more than I thought I would actually. We'll see some more matches, but I'm already I already think this was a pretty good showing of what she can do and how she actually did impact a match. This versus the Light Holly Berry, this one definitely seems more useful just straight away. Looks like both teams are trying to outspeed. Well, the team on the left-hand side is definitely playing a very fast control team. They only have one speed lead because they only needed to bring one speed. They could have just banned out the Oliver speed lead. They decided to not go for it. They decided that the Yen Hong... Oh my goodness. They didn't even get the strips. I'm not surprised they didn't get the strip on the Masha. But I'm surprised they didn't get the strip on the Dominic. Maybe I should. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't be surprised, actually. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised. So, few buffs on the Light Camera. You know, now seeing this, I'm seeing some definite combination potential with the Light Pure Vanilla Cookie and Shizuka. Although, you could combination everything with Shizuka. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you? Um, okay. Doing some damage there. Does the massacre. Just trying to go for the miles. Just trying to take something out as fast as possible. Does not actually kill the Chimera. Light of Truth. Increase, uh, sorry, not increase the cooldowns. Decrease the cooldowns. There's nothing Dominic can do, though. Dominic's trying to kill. Doesn't matter. Well, I mean, he's not trying. Obviously, like, they can see that they're not going to kill anything. But they have the Endure. They can't do anything. Nice damage again. They could have gone for the... The Oliver. Now I'm just nitpicking. I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't. <laughs> That's why... Either way! E either way, no matter what would have Violent proc, that would have been bad. See, Oliver, Violent Brox, and Because Oliver can go crazy. Dominic can go crazy too. Dominic didn't have an attack power buff though. So, let's see. I feel like this is... Uh, I feel like this is probably game... At this point. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit different, at least, on the right-hand side. Left-hand side is looking like fairly straightforward season 22. Okay. Right-hand side right hand side is just Mystery Hunt playing. Um, so they could have actually done a... 
They could have done a Leo there, because I don't know if you guys know, but Yen Hong and Han both do damage based on speed, and then they also had the Miles that was going to do damage based on speed as well. So uh, Leo actually would have been strong against three of those. They did pick the uh, on the opponent's side. There's two Revivers. <laughs> it looks pretty rough, but there's two Revivers here. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, on the opponent's side, opponent picked the uh, Wind Bison, which is going to increase cooldown. So that was going to be strong against both the Revivers there. So, again, it is 4v3 for the second time in the match. Let's see. Let's see what winds up happening. That's my catchphrase, guys. Let's see what winds up happening. Additional turn. Are they able to take that Han out, or is Yen Hong going to proc and get her skill... Oh, she didn't have her skill 3 up. They're still going to be able to heal Han up to pretty... The de full, okay. They're going to heal Han up to full. And then, can they actually proc? And he's dead. Alright. Bulfric is stacked. However, I do think that this that was really the comeback. As soon as Han was down, then they don't have... Well, they do still have a defense break. <laughs> they don't have a defense break. Just kidding, they do have a defense break. So now it's kind of... It is kind of even, because they do have damage on both sides. They do also have sustain on both sides. So this is probably going to be uh, gonna be a long match. Although I feel like we're going to see long matches with this light vanilla. Actually, not, not really. If they're going for... Okay, maybe it's not going to be a long match. If they're going for Bruiser with a light vanilla, because she is kind of flexible. You can you can use her in multiple different comps, because all she really does... she, she Like, Ganymede. You, you can use Ganymede in multiple different comps, too. So... You can use her in a fast, aggressive cleave. You can, or control cleave. Eh, cleave, control cleave. Um, and then you can also use her in a bruiser team. Both are acceptable. Both are good uses of her. I think that she's so much better than I really gave her credit for at the, at the beginning. When we saw her skills, I was like, oh, it's going to be, you know, she's just another reviver. But really, she does she does a lot for, for being a reviver that is not passive-based. She actually does quite a bit super control team on the left hand side on the right hand side they're just trying to respond to the super control team bans out the masha that was going to be the well one of two defense breakers let's see gets no it doesn't get this doesn't get the strips again oh, oh no okay gets out of three aoe strips still did not strip the dominic oh this is rough this is this is rough they just didn't land their skills. <laughs> like, that's RNG is RNG. Okay. They can get as many turns as they want. This, this, uh, yeah, they... That didn't really show much of anything. Pony Lover 69 Okay, that's more information than I really needed from him. Also, uh, Barber, also weird, strange pivot. I was not expecting that pivot. The left-hand side, I was expecting all of their picks. It's a control, it's a fast uh, control team. For the right-hand side, they pivoted into Josephine and Diana and Kinky and all that stuff. So, uh, Masha's going down. They're not gonna, they're not gonna hit Masha. They're gonna hit, uh, okay, they hit the, the Sean. And then cuts. Brutal. See, this is, this is the, the drawback. If you, if you risk it for the biscuit, then opponent can still cut with something. So, it's, it's dangerous going into human form with Diana when your opponent has full attack age. So at this point, I feel like that's just game. Cause what's what else is gonna happen? There yeah, that's that's just game. So the Maja is actually strong against the Kinky here because she increases her attack her, her stats, her attack power in human form, so Kinky's not even revenging there. Cause as long as the attack power is high enough, he's not gonna revenge. So that was that was pretty straightforward. Left hand side, standard control team fast control team right hand side is not what i was necessarily expecting to see today so let's see if there's some crazy kind of they actually do get all the strips increase the cooldowns and also <laughs> additional turn on top of that just to add insult to injury and then shung pung's just gonna do it again you're just gonna go for skill three aoe kills the uh the zarath and oh additional turn hold on i mean fair is fair right one side gets them the other side should get them too Increase cooldowns. That's maybe it's not game. Maybe I maybe I say it's game too fast. We're not gonna see anything. Okay, so that wait they outsped it. Also, that was on despair. 
I was expecting that to be on Swift, and that's why they outsped. All right, GG. Fun unit. We didn't really see too much of her in this last battle, but she is definitely better than I anticipated her being. Mostly because she's very similar. She's effective in preventing death, reviving things, and also uh, decreasing the cooldown. So giving someone access to their skill cooldowns again. She is just, I feel like she's just the better version of Ganny now. But depends on your playstyle, depends on what, what else you're picking. I feel like she is the... The better version of Ganny now. So anyway, that's it for this one. You guys, controversial opinion. <laughs> I'll see you as always in the next one.